Hey guys, how's it going? And welcome back to another Iron Man progress video. It's the first post max progress video, and I'm really excited to be doing a lot of PVM this episode. I'm going to be heading back to God Wars Dungeon to do a bit of Bandos and Saradomin. I think I'll also be doing some Corrupted Gauntlet with the upcoming equipment rebalancing changes. Um, it's going to be more important than ever to have some of those items from the Gauntlet, and um, yeah, might even try and do some solo chambers as well. Sit back relax and I hope you enjoy the video. Alright well this is going to be 500 kills here at Bandos. I really did think I was going to finish this boss relatively early. I had the hilt, the chest plate and the tassets all by KC 143 which was ridiculously lucky but um, yeah still searching for the boots. Ah oh, man that is my fourth Bandos chest plate. Not what I wanted to see. Though I have been quite dry, I think that's only my second unique drop in nearly 400 kills, so good to see something at least. Well, would you look at that, a God Sword Shard 2 off the minion. Well, it looks like we are playing that game where I get all of the drops that I don't want, including the rarer ones. That is my second Bandos Hilt in 576 kills, and still no sign of the boots. Little milestone there, 600 kills at Bandos God Wars. So the equipment rebalance changes for the range meta have landed. I'm not going to go into these in detail. Essentially the blowpipe has been nerfed. There's a new bow, the bow of Ferdinand, that you can now get from the gauntlet and corrupted gauntlet. It looks like a pretty handy weapon. I would like to get my hands on it. It's going to be useful for God Wars, which I could finish up with my current gear, but the bow is also going to be very handy at Chambers of Zeric. So I figured I might as well try and get my hands on it as soon as possible. Um, yeah, I've got one crystal armor seed out of six that you need for the full crystal armor set so far. So still need to get a bunch of those. We'll obviously need a lot of crystal shards to charge the armor and uh, get the corrupted version of the bow. It's a one in 400 drop rate. So yeah, let's, uh, let's head back to Corrupted Gauntlet and see if I can get lucky. Oh, okay. I didn't even realize that was a particularly quick Corrupted Gauntlet, 8 minutes and 30 seconds on the dot. Can we get anything for that PB? Not quite. Elite Clue from Corrupted Gauntlet, what can we get? Hmm, it's worth 100k and I've done 169, so 31 left to go until I get the unique reward from Elite Clues. And another one? For nothing. The Elite Clues are flying in, what can we get from this one? Wow, 63k, that is genuinely terrible. Another elite, what can we get? Ooh, <laughs> actually got a unique item. That is the big pirate hat. Very nice indeed. Up to 177 corrupted gauntlets now. No uniques to speak of, but another elite clue. What can we get? Hmm, how much is that one worth? 125k, not the best, not the worst. All right, well, that is my 200th kill at the Corrupted Gauntlet. Can I get anything in return? Absolutely not. I thought I'd take a quick look at the collection log. I've only got the one Crystal Armor Seed in 200 Corrupted Completions and eight Weapon Seeds. Now, I'm not exactly sure how the drop table for this works. I don't know if it's an equal chance to roll either the Weapon or the Armor Seed or if you can get both of them at the same time. I know the wiki lists them both as a 1 in 50 um, drop from the Corrupted Gauntlet, but it does seem like a bit of an unequal split there. Uh, I suppose the one good thing about the Weapon Seeds is I can trade them in for Crystal Acorns, plant those for a few extra shards, and uh, I suppose an extra pet roll um, for the farming pet. But um, yeah, hoping to see some more Crystal Armor Seeds relatively soon. If it's a 1 in 50 drop, probably would have expected you know, four in, in that number of kills. And I've only got the one, but I shall continue on. There we go, that is the Joga Champion Scroll. Slightly under the drop rate, 4,767 kills. I am back to trying to get these um, as soon as I can, really. I mentioned in the last video I was going for the Champion's Cape, and I think I've only got four left now. I'll double check on the collection log. But nice to knock that one out. Um, Jogas are quite slow, but they're chilled out so it wasn't too bad in the end and the ones that I've got left to get are let's see earth warrior hobgoblin skeleton and zombie okay 
<laughs> that was very quick. That was about 2,000 kills, so well under the drop rate for the zombie champion scroll. Um, these are a lot quicker to kill. It's um, very easy to set up your cannon here and get kills very quickly compared to the jokers. So wasn't expecting that to take too long, but nice to knock another champion scroll out of the way. Yeah, so I'm getting quite lucky with these. That is under the drop rate as well. I think about 3,500 kills. Um, I wouldn't have minded going dry on this one. It is probably one of the quicker ones, about 1,400 kills an hour. But um, just two left to go now. I'm really hoping I don't go dry on the Earth Warrior scroll because that's pretty slow. I think it might even be slower than Joga's, so we shall see. Verax skirt for the collection log. Um, why am I at Barrows? Very randomly just decided to go knock out a few chests. Um, wouldn't mind finishing the Darok set because it's a potential way of getting kills quite quickly at Earth Warriors. Um, but yeah, that's uh, unique with the log. And that is another one for the log, an Aaron's Robe Skirt. I have had it before, but not since the collection log came out. And here's an Elite Clue. What can we get? Nothing. And there's another one for the log, Aram's Staff. Always a very underwhelming drop, I have to say. And we've got another Elite for nothing. Another Elite Clue. What can we get? Ooh, a Master. Very nice. And what can we get from this Master Clue? Been a while since I've done one of these. Ooh, <laughs> a lot of dragon items, but nothing too special there. Well, that's another one for the log. I'm pretty sure I've had the Gutton's Helm before. I think I need the body and the spear to finish the set. I will double check. Yes, it's not a unique, unfortunately. I don't believe this. The shooting star has just destroyed my cannon. It's just, I, I saw this shadow coming in that I've never seen before. It said the shadow of a shooting star, and it's just completely f it. Well, thankfully you can come and reclaim it for free. Um, I guess I'll have to be careful of that. Well, that was incredibly lucky. How many of these have I killed? Less than 500. One champion scroll left to go. And it is Earth Warriors, which are pretty slow, but I will take that. Well, I've now hit 5,000 Earth Warrior kills, which does mean I'm at the drop rate. Um, did kind of expect that to be honest, hoping that I don't go too much drier because it is pretty slow. I think before the blowpipe nerf I was getting um, probably around 450 kills an hour. It does feel a bit slower with um, the post nerf blowpipe, maybe around 350, which is a shame, but it was always going to be one of the slower ones to get anyway. Oh, that is a beautiful sight. I've only just started the trip as well. That is really nice to see. Um, let me just quickly check what my KC is and then I figure I need to actually go and do the fights because I've not done any of the uh, challenges with the actual bosses. So final kill count for the Earth Warrior scroll was 5,618 so only slightly over the drop rate and actually that was the only one that I did go over the drop rate on anyway so I think I've been pretty lucky with these challenge scrolls. Um, I did get some of these passively just going through the giant champion scroll I got while I was doing the uh, Bright Fighter's Essence, I got the Goblin Champion Scroll at God Wars, I got the Imp Champion Scroll at God Wars and the Lesser Demon Champion Scroll at God Wars. So I didn't actually have to go out of my way to get those. Um, but yeah, let's go and finish up the challenges and get the cape. And there we go, that is the Champion's Cape obtained. Very nice indeed. It is only cosmetic, um, but I think it looks pretty cool. I'm not a huge fan of Max Cape variants, but I think if they did add the uh, Champion's Cape recolor, I would combine it because it'd be nice to uh, flex off the two achievements in one item. But that is very cool, a sort of weird little side goal that I had for a while, so very pleased to have finally finished that. I did get another Elite Clue that I forgot to open, so let's see if we can get anything good from that. Of course not. Hey, there we go. At last, that is my second Crystal Armor Seed. Two out of six, 210 Corrupted Gauntlets completed now. And that is it for today's episode. I hope you've all enjoyed watching. It's been really good to start working on some of the post-max goals that I set for myself and um, particularly pleasing to pick up the Champion's Cape this episode. I do feel like I got very lucky um, with some of the scrolls that I got, you know, under the drop rate and didn't really go dry on any of them. So... Um, yeah, that was very lucky and very pleasing. Nice also to pick up the uh, one Crystal Armor Seed this episode. Was hoping for a few more, but just going to continue on with Corrupted Gauntlet in the next episode and hope to get a few more unique items. If you enjoyed the episode, feel free to drop a like. And if you want to stay up to date with all the latest progress videos in the series, feel free to subscribe as well. 
And until next time, guys, take care.